What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box, I am Bond, and today we're doing another unboxing, this time for Wolfenstein Youngblood with Steelbook. Um, so the Steelbook here in the UK is exclusive to game, I believe, and as you can see it's basically just a, a throw-in add-on. But, you know me, I love Steelbook, so I figured I'd unbox it all the same. So, like I said, I got the Deluxe Edition, I believe you might have got the Steelbook if you bought any edition of the game, I could be wrong on that. Um, the deluxe edition, we'll check out the back while I try and open, open this. You get some DLC and the body pass. Uh, so basically what the body pass does is allows you to um, invite someone to your game who doesn't have the game and still play with you in co-op for free. Um, they don't get to save progress or anything like that from what I understand. But uh, you can still play co-op together. So that's pretty cool. So I guess it's similar in a way to um, if anybody played A Way Out from uh, way back. Was that last year that came out now? I'll just knock everything around while I'm trying to get rid of plastic. So yeah, as you can see, the cover of this deluxe dish is a little different from the standard one. Very nice art for this game, I think. Wolves hunt together, so there's the body pass, the fight friend, they play for free. You also get the skin pack. So it's digital download codes for that stuff as you'd expect. Do we not get the tail line anymore? There we go. So I will be redeeming these codes, but We've got an ad for Cyber Pilot. This also came out today, so if you have PSVR or PC uh, Oculus or that kind of thing, from that we've got an ad for Doom Eternal, which comes out at the end of the year. Do not discard your deluxe edition stuff, which I already covered. We have a faux manual. This one actually does have the game controls in it, so I guess that is a start. So the inner art is the exact same basically as the uh, the outer art. So I guess if you wanted you could reverse the cover if you wanted a full thing but it doesn't have the spine on it or any kind of back stuff so I wouldn't really call it a reversible cover. And the disc is the same kind of color scheme with the Wolfenstein logo in the middle. So this game, Machine Games and Arcane. Get rid of the plastic case. Alright, main event, Steelbook. This is the thing I was most excited about for this thing. So as you can see, it's got... It's a very movie poster-esque kind of um, art cover. It is uh, glossy in places and matte in some. No, it's just 100% glossy by the feel of it. Just different shadings and stuff. Um... Yeah, I assume maybe these guys are the bad guys. Not sure. You've obviously got the two sisters at the top. BJ there. Alright, so I assume the ones in the blue are the good. And the red are bad. Usually how this works. We do have the title on the spine. It is the correct way up. The back is pretty boring, let's be honest. I've already got my fingerprints on it, so that's cool. Only got a few scratches on it, wow. I guess that's what happens when you just send the steelbook and a packaging on its own. But yeah. So I mean it just says Wolfenstein Young Blood, you got the developers and publisher. On the inside, again pretty boring. Just a uh, skyline of Paris, I guess, because you can see the Eiffel Tower just over here. Something else in the middle. And yeah, basically just a skyline, but like I said, it was basically a throw-in steelbook, so this front cover, I think, makes it alone, as well as the title being on the spine, which apparently is not a given these days. So yeah, that is the Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition with the steelbook. Let me know in the comments if you guys are picking this game up, if you've picked it up, what you think of it. Uh, let me know if you've picked up the steelbook, what you think of the steelbook. Um, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe for more content, hit the bell if you want to know when it goes live. Um, I do have some more 
I'll get an X enhanced video up for this game soon, in the next day or so. Um, and I have a few other things planned. I know the videos have not been as consistent or heavy as they usually are. I'm hoping that picks up. It's just, um, I've been, A, I've been dealing with a couple of things. Um, B, it's the dead of summer. I've been struggling really hard to think of stuff to actually make, um, with no new games coming out. Um, basically, I need to go do some stuff with some old games, I suppose. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll pick up soonish. And, I'll see you guys next time.